Hi, Demi Jack here. Now today we're talking about Marvel Avengers game, the Marvel Avengers game, because there's a little bit of controversy over their microtransactions. Now we're going to get into this, so let's get into it. Okay, so Marvel Avengers announces removal of paid XP boosters from games. So Square Enix and Crystal Dynamics announced that they will be removing the paid XP boosters from Marvel Avengers following a strong backlash from the community. Marvel Avengers has become quite a controversial game because of its recent failings. Now the game is even more controversial as Square Enix is walking back on the XP boosters it introduced. The boosters work as a type of fast track, pay to win mechanic, pay to win bad, that makes it easier to pay for faster progression. In an announcement earlier this week, the game's official Twitter account announced the removal of their XP boosters. These boosters were added in October working as consumables. These items give temporary XP boost to the amount of XP the player gains or helps them collect resources. It says here, we have decided that by the end of the day, we will be removing Hero Catalyst and Fragment Extractors from purchase. I'm going to read what they said. It says, we apologize for not responding sooner to your concerns about the addition of paid consumables in the marketplace. We introduced them as an option for evolving player base and did not see them as pay to win since they don't offer power directly. After considering your feedback, we have decided that by the end of the day, we will remove Hero Catalyst and Farmer and Fragment, as the farmers in before, extractors for purchase. They will continue to be earnable rewards and those already owned are still usable. We hope that this can be the first step in rebuilding your confidence in us as a team. It continues to be our goal. So yeah, now it says here, right here, this is why people protested it, because people completely just weren't having the paid consumables. Dev team originally promised no pay to win mechanics. Marvel's Avengers has become a problematic game that seemingly has very little future ahead of it. Players are unhappy with the game's progression so far. The addition of paid boosters makes it clear that this game is a blatant crash grab. Yeah, on the Marvel IP also. Also says it doesn't help that the team promised they will not be adding pay to win mechanics for the title and then they went ahead and did it anyway. As we know, the fans of Marvel Avengers were protesting the paid XP boosters as paid XP boosters is pay to win. I mean, you're paying for extra XP. Of course, it's pay to win, but it's kind of a cop out that the development team didn't even think they were pay to win. It's like, that. how can you not realize that it's pay to win? You're paying for XP boosters, which makes you level up faster. And something that article didn't go over, which I read in another article, but I'm just going to say it here. They actually made leveling up harder in the game and then introduced paid XP boosters. It really feels like this game is a cash grab. I personally think it's a cash grab. I think it's a cash grab using the Marvel Avengers IP, the Marvel's IP in general, not even the Avengers, but Marvel. And then being like, oh, we're Marvel, buy our microtransactions, like that. So I, I personally don't recommend supporting this game. They've already broken their promise. It doesn't matter that they've gone ahead and fixed it. In my own opinion, you just don't support it. It's a cash grab. We should not be supporting cash grabs. Now, I just want to say, we can do this with any game, really. We can get them with paid microtransactions with any game. All you got to do is protest fast enough and long enough and enough people need to be protesting to the point you, you probably couldn't do it with EA I think that EA would sit on their deathbed on microtransactions but other companies I'm pretty sure if enough people protest you could actually get them to remove pay to win mechanics now I think that pay to win mechanics have no place in gaming it's just making money off people and it's unfair to people who don't spend money I don't support or buy pay to win mechanics if I am playing a game with pay to win mechanics, I won't buy it. I just won't buy it. I'll do it what I call legit. Because you're playing legit. And to be honest, I think that a lot more gamers need to stop supporting pay to win mechanics. I mean, a lot do already. I mean, pay to win mechanics are pretty much hated in the gaming community. But there appears to be that one small set of the gaming community that just buys all the loot boxes and stuff. And that's why they put them in. The term we use is whales, but I don't know if the whales is a appropriate term. As it, it is a bit derogatory. However, the whales do buy them. They spend thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars on pay-to-win mechanics. And that's why pay-to-win mechanics are so rampant in gaming. 
but in my honest opinion, we need to stand up as gamers and say no. No more loot boxes, no more XP boosters, no more anything that's pay to win. It needs to happen the more games than just Marvel Avengers. That's what it needs to happen. Anyway, I am Dammy Jack. I hope you enjoyed this video today. If you have any opinions about pay to win mechanics or this game in general, let me know in the comment section down below and I'll see you all later. I am Dammy Jack. Make sure to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you next time.